Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, back again with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Glitches, Easter Eggs, and Funny Moments that you, the subscribers, have sent in. This is a series where you send me interesting things you have found in the game, and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will possibly get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things you have found, make sure to either write them down in the comment section down below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing them or recording it in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be used in an episode. All of the links will be down in the description below and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the next video. So let's take a look at seven secrets, Easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you have found in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number one, panel gap bug. Right, so when I mention panel gap, some of you are probably imagining two parts or panels on a car which has a gap that is blatantly obvious. However, for this instant, it isn't the case. In fact, this is more in line with Horizon 4's weird car modeling that has left many vehicles with a lot of see-through parts. Some quick examples is the Lancer Evo exhaust, the Eclipse side skirts, and more recently, the Lancia Stratos with its front bonnet. Of course, there has been a lot more of this see-through glitch that has been featured on this channel. However, here is another one that I've never seen before, and that involves the 1997 Mazda RX-7. All you have to do is head over to the body kit preset. There you will see two Rocket Bunny kits available to install. The first one is bug-free. However, when you select the second body kit, you will notice a weird panel gap that shouldn't exist. That's correct, just between the front windshield and the bonnet is a gap that is completely see-through. This can only be seen while you are at a Horizon Festival site or at a house, but still a very good find and a huge shout out to ejohn 24 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number two, no tires. So in the past, we have seen some very unique glitches that involves the wheels of certain vehicles in Horizon 4. This ranges from no rims but the tyres existing, rims completely changing when it hits a certain speed, to perhaps the most impressive one where, well, the wheels completely disappear. However, here is an image that has been sent in by a subscriber and I believe we have yet to showcase this one where this time the rim is fully intact while the tyres are absent. Now because of the shadow, I'm not sure if the front wheel also has a missing tyre. If so, that's pretty cool. However, if it's only affecting the rear wheels, that's even more spectacular of a glitch. How many more weird combinations are we going to see in regards to the wheels? Who knows, but a huge shout out to John from Twitter for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number three, a funny moment. As most of you know by now, in each episode, we will feature a couple of funny moments in order for more of you, the subscribers watching, to get involved. Just make sure to send in your clips saying funny moment and I'll be sure to check it out. All right, so, okay. <laughs> This started off very interesting already. And um, first of all, I don't know how you got that quartz regalia just pretty much paralleled between those two indestructible guardrails. But um, yeah, props to you, man, because um, it seems like you're stuck to the point that someone else in the lobby is taunting you. But um, are those do those guardrails get blocked all the way up, making them invisible walls? I think they do. But anyways, um, yeah, props to you for getting the car there. I, I think it'll be very hard to replicate. And a huge shout out to Paged Weevil 1816 for uh, sharing this moment with us. Thank you. Number four, the GT500 doesn't go into reverse. Well, technically it does. I mean, every car in Horizon 4 goes into reverse. Otherwise, we have a serious problem. However, with modern cars and digital displays becoming the norm, along with most new cars housing a dual-clutch automatic transmission, on their digital cluster, many cars will indicate which gear you are in, whether you are in park, reverse, neutral, or drive. An example here is the 2018 Ford Mustang GT, where if you are in any gear, the display will highlight the D in 
in red, and when you shift into reverse, the R would then be highlighted in red. Of course, neutral and park won't ever be highlighted in any car, as those are gears that can't be accessed in Horizon 4. However, the newly released 2020 Shelby Mustang has a bit of a bug when it comes to showing which gear the car is in. As you can see, when the car is in gear, the cluster will highlight D, but if you go into reverse, the display will still show that the car is in drive. GG. I know it's not exactly a huge bug, but I would have imagined things like this would have been hashed out by now. But anyways, a huge shout out to Fast Driver 318 from YouTube for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number 5. Wrong Tail Lights it seems like the Shelby GT500 has a few bugs in Horizon 4, to say the least, and here is another one. Now, as the sixth generation of the Mustang being in production from 2015, throughout the years, the car has gone through some transformations, such as the cluster moving from analog to digital, a subtle facelift, to many more which is quite long to list. But one other major change that was made beginning from 2018 was the rear taillights. As you can see from the 2018 Mustang GT, the taillights do look more refined and contemporary when you compare it to its slightly older model, which can be seen in the 2016 Shelby GT350R. Now with the new GT500 being the facelifted version, it should house the newer taillights as well, but unfortunately, it retains the old taillights from the older Mustang, which kind of makes the car look a little odd. Some of you have suggested that the car was copied and pasted over from the Shelby GT350R and somehow forgot to change the taillights. I mean, if this was a newly modelled car, bugs like this shouldn't even exist. Anyways, I do hope to see this fixed in the future in a stealth patch like they have done with some vehicles in the past. And a huge shout out to both EZCZZ and Nail from YouTube for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number 6. AI Cars Keep Popping Up From Beneath Now if you go back to number 3 where I used a clip as an example for a funny moment, you would have seen that a traffic car just popped up underneath another parked traffic car. Now, it seems as though from what you guys have sent me, many of you have been experiencing this and here is another example right here. And I think this has gone beyond a funny moment, but more so an actual bug that's becoming a regular occurrence in the world of Horizon 4. I don't know um, how many of you guys have experienced this. I really hope to not see this in Forza Horizon 5 or in the future, uh, an AI card just pop up underneath while any one of us are driving. Anyways, um, a huge shout out to Mac the Mans from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. And lastly, number seven, what's wrong with the cluster? Perhaps the biggest glitch or bug with the new GT500, and that is of course the cluster. Now for those who may perhaps never seen this car's cluster in action, well let's just say Horizon 4's portrayal is deeply incorrect. I mean just seeing it at first glance, I was like, what on earth is this? It wouldn't even make sense if Ford was to design a digital cluster where the needle would show a constant range on how fast the engine's revving to what speed the car is going at. I mean, you just can't say to a policeman, oh, sorry, officer, I was going between the range of 60 to 160 miles per hour, so I wasn't quite sure how fast I was going. Sorry, and uh, please don't give me a ticket. I mean, that would be a design flaw as well. Now, for those who have played The Crew 2, will know that this exact Shelby Mustang is also available in that game, and well, they have a much more accurate representation on how the dials are supposed to look like. The needle is followed by a nice diffused graphic, giving it some sort of a flair. And not only that, the 2018 Mustang GT also has this cluster feature too, and it was nailed perfectly in Horizon 4. So I don't know why the Shelby is so wrong. Will this be fixed? I certainly hope so. And a huge shout out to many of you that pointed this out on all social medias. Thank you guys. So there we have it guys, seven hidden secrets, easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you the subscribers have sent in for Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. And remember, if you guys have any clips that you want to send to me, all of the links will be down in the description below. Any social media will do and I look forward to all of your submissions. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe 
subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.